This is Pepper Grinder. Um, as you can see, it is a raucous, exciting game about a giant drill. Uh, it basically takes the digging mechanic from Ori and the Blind Forest. Wait, was it Blind Forest or was it Will of the Wisps where you did the digging? Or was it both? I don't remember. In any case, it takes that mechanic and makes a whole game about the mechanic, and it works way better than I expected to. Uh, this is just a Next Fest demo right now. I don't think the game is out properly, but let's check it out together, and maybe you'll decide to wishlist it when you see it. I don't know. So here we are. There's a treasure chest. It is washed ashore. <gasps> As have I, a turquoise-headed girl. Oh no, narwhals. The narwhal men are here. <gasps> the narwhal men and some kind of narwhal poser. That does not look like a proper narwhal to me. Oh, she's got a sword though, so she's serious. Ah! I'm concerned about my life, but I'm even more concerned about my treasure chest. Weirdly, I'm not controlling this right now. Like, I kind of almost, I would expect to have controlled this part, but whatever. So I have landed on some kind of drill thing. And now I've decided to make it my entire personality. So we can jump. We can do that. Drill things with our drill. We can drill into walls. We can hop up on little platforms. We can hold the button to jump higher. We can go down through things. We can just annihilate innocent creatures that don't deserve it. But most importantly, we can do this nonsense. We can dig around in sand. And I cannot underscore enough how well this works and how intuitive it is. Like, I am having no problems doing this. This didn't take, like, this did not take a lot of practice. I'm playing about as well now as I did the first time I picked this up when I first started the demo. I mean, I think I've improved slightly. I've certainly learned what things do. These little red beetles are actually kind of difficult to, uh, to deal with because you have to hit them from below. If you hit them from above, they hit you. So if you, you can do that. But I actually, the first time I encountered them, I really struggled to figure out what, you know, how to manage them. So there are definitely skills involved, but the thing that impresses me the most is just how weird this is and actually how intuitive it is. Okay, so if I hit A, Whoa! Okay, that was hilarious. Uh, I did not intend to do that at all. Um, actually, I should probably move my head so you can see that I've got health up there. Um, but yeah, if you hit the A button, you zoom in some direction, which lets you cross gaps you wouldn't normally be able to cross. Whee! like fighting these little guys it's just weirdly fun and there's sort of this motivation to try to just I mean you can stop and rest whenever you want to but I kind of have this like inclination to just want to be digging all the time because it feels so good uh, the plop is calling this manic pixie dig dug girl which seems fair. I don't know what all this currency is for exactly. So you don't actually have to hold down the trigger while you're digging. Your character will dig automatically. As long as they're already digging, they'll keep digging um, until they come out. But I just have this like inclination to just always keep my finger on the trigger. So the thing that's also really cool is you use the drill for everything. Like, all your interactions with the world are drill-driven. But, okay. Okay, the thing I just did, by the way, let's just look at that again. That tiny little space, I was able to turn around. Okay, well, 
as soon as I start talking about it, I can't do it. Um, but I was able to make a complete 360 in there. So not only am I able to move fast when I want to move fast and have it feel really quick and smooth, I'm able to turn on a dime and stay within a tiny area without going flying off. I mean, occasionally I fly off, but not as much as I would expect to fly off. And I just, I can't underscore enough how difficult it is to do that well in a game like this. Like, I'm betting most of their development time was spent just trying to make that feel good and just iterating on the numbers and the speeds and the equations and things that are going on under the hood to make that all the turning radii and everything just feel right. I'm betting they spent tons of time on that, and then when they got it, then it's just figuring out what to do with it. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. That doesn't necessarily always take a ton of time. Sometimes, you know, you get somebody who knows what they're doing, and they can just nail something that feels good quickly. So I'm not saying they definitely spent a lot of time on that. It's more that the effort they spent on that was the most important part of getting this game right. Oh, look, it's a, it's a big, it's a big blue man. Hey, hey, I, I, I dyed my hair after your color. All right. We, okay, I want to go over here just because it seems unnecessary. Um, Wee! Oh, hello. Okay, yes. So I'm up here now, and it looks like... Ha-ha! Secret pirate coin. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at the upper right. I missed a pirate coin. Hold on. How far can I backtrack? Wait, where was the pirate coin I missed? I definitely missed a pirate coin. I would like, a, I would like to have all of my pirate coins, please. This will not do. Where is my other pirate coin? By the way, I really love a game that has reversible levels. So I'm assuming... I'm assuming that the pirate coin thing... That... that the UI represents the order in which you're expected to find them in the level. Oh no! <laughs> Did it again. Ah, uh, wait, I can't go past here. I've probably missed that pirate coin forever. Oh, that makes me sad. So, Exion is suggesting that they think it might still be within reach. It might be somewhere near those elevators. So we're going to try it again. Okay. So I'm looking for maybe more cracked stone. Oh, oh wait. Right there. Right there. Right there. There it is. So, man, that cracked stone is actually pretty subtle. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if someone with, like, say, difficulty seeing might genuinely not be able to parse that difference. I wonder if they've considered an accessibility feature or something. Okay. Let's try to get past these guys without getting murdered. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. We're going to get our little thing there. And... Whoa! Yes! All right. I just love how you can chew through enemies in this. Like, when you're on a roll, you just blast through tons and tons of them at once. And check this out. Again, everything uses the drill. 
there's this like special kind of elegance to a game like this that just picks one thing to a, to be about and as they diversify their mechanics they just keep making the mechanics about that one thing okay so oh there oh there's some i see something i want i see it fifth pirate coin and raising the flag just like mario all right so i had already played that level before and forgotten where that pirate coin was i have not played any further so at this point i don't know where i'm going so how does water work in this game? Can I can I swim? Ah, I can swim, but not as powerfully as I can in sand. Okay, so I can I think I can do the little burst thing. No, no, I think I just I get some extra speed on my emergence. But I think that my little speed boost thing that works in the sand doesn't really seem to work the same way in the water. Ah! Ah, no! I want to do this! Nope, I want to get every freaking coin! Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Oh, oh, failing, failing. Alright, 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 here we go. Yes! Whoa! Oh, oh, wait a minute. You, you're my friend. <sighs> oh, hey, Airy Twitch is subscribed for 16 months now. Welcome. Uh, what do I mean by welcome? I don't know. Welcome to your 16th month. That was a weird word to choose. Um, okay, hold on. Whee. I don't know what the skulls are about. Like, I feel like I might actually be doing harm to the science of paleontology or archaeology by... Oh, no! Oh, crap. I wanted to... Oh. Am I going to be able to get that thing back? I missed it. And it's blue! It's blue, that means it's special. Right, is there a way to, like... Oh, I've... I've lost the blue one forever! I mean, at least it's not counted like the pirate coins, which I've probably also missed one of. Okay, what if I... Okay, there's got to be like an angle I can hit this at. Oh, no, that's probably the best I could do right there. No, okay, no, I can do, I can do better. If I hit this at exactly the right time. Oh, that just was so tantalizing. My timing is a little off. I keep, I keep, when I go through the tiny corner, which is I think what I need to do in order to make it, I hit the, oh, that was so freaking close. I tend to hit the button just a little too late. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I realize this is not the most fun way to watch this game. And it's only the demo, like whatever. I'm going to someday play this entire game for reals. Okay, you know what? Nope, we gotta give up. We're not gonna do it this time. Okay, so that little guy is making it so I can't go down there. So how does one... Aha! Aha! Nope, wait. There we go, that worked. By the way... Oh, ow! So I'm not sure how my health works. I just realized, I think I've got significantly more health right now than I had in the previous level. But I don't know how, why I have more and what I do to gain more. Like, could it be the veggies that I've been eating? Okay, 
arcing to try to hit that guy was great. It just felt really good. Oh, gosh. Okay. There we go. Whew. Okay. Oh, wait. My health just dropped down again. What was going on? Why was my health higher? Okay, I have not figured this out yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jedi Psychtrick says that when she came in, she thought that it said that the, uh, the game I was playing was called People Grinder, which was um, disturbing. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, I guess it depends on whether you consider narwhals to be people, because if you do, this game is definitely People Grinder. I mean, they definitely appear to be sentient in within the fiction of the game. Now, can I... Oh, ow, 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 ow. But I must have my pirate coin. No, no, stop. Oh, gosh. Okay, that nearly killed me. I'm going to die. I'm going to freaking die. <laughs> <sighs> okay, yes. So eating those little heart-shaped radish things does help my health situation. Okay. Oh, gosh. Ow, and now I'm dead. Okay, okay. But that was mostly from just one really disastrous moment. Oh, no. I can't. I can't go back. Ah. Oh, this game's going to drive me crazy. Leaving collectibles behind. Oh, wait. Have I already? Okay, so it counts me as already getting this. I did miss a pirate coin. Oh, th whatever. I didn't even try to get out of that. Like, once I'm in there, whatever. I it's going to damage me so much, I might as well just... You know what? I don't care anymore. I don't care about getting all the collectibles anymore. I can't. I can't afford to care. No, again. Why? Stop it. Just do the thing you've done a million times and do it correctly. Oh, shoot. Man, okay. I got Actually, I got to say... They are weirdly um, permissive when it comes to thorns. Like, I do hit them out like that time, but I don't hit them every time you imagine you might hit them. And there are definitely games in this genre and, you know, people who make such games who would absolutely have made it so that it would be, like, co constant. Where, like, the hitting of these thorns would be constant. And the whole experience of the game would be, this is the game in which you hit thorns. Like, and so I got to say, I got some admiration for this developer for how forgiving they made this. And I'm just not going to care anymore about trying to get everything. Whatever. I'll come back to this game later and try to perfect it. Ooh, there's all kinds of places I can go. There's a curiosity shop? I'm curious about the curiosity shop. Okay, so I've got 1866 coins. I could buy a sticker page for pirate coins? Okay, I don't know why I bought that. Um, I could spend 100 to get a what? A sticker. All right, I could spend another 100 to get another... Why do I want stickers? Um, I can spend 200 to get... Oh, this is temp health. Oh, interesting. Okay, so stickers are permanent collectibles. Temp health is just temp health. Well, I know what I'll be spending it on. Permanent stuff. Let's go to Headstone Peak. Oh, okay. Well, that's what my 
temp help was for. Oh, crap. Oh, there's mines. Okay, so we got mines and we've got one-way doors. Oh, and they're color-coded. Okay. Ow. Okay. Hey, you, Jeffrey, remember how to do that? No! No! <laughs> okay, this is getting more difficult now. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. I like that they hid a secret in the place I was going to land if I screwed up. Dang it. That was not what I intended to do. I wonder if there are any areas where they accidentally made it possible for you to just completely block yourself off from success using these doors. That's got to be possible. There's got to be a configuration where you could really mess somebody up. Okay, so I don't actually want to hit it on that turn. I want to go over it here. So that I can do that. Wait, flamethrowers? Hey, jerks! Stop having flamethrowers. I mean, it's okay if I'm playing a video game and I have flamethrowers, but narwhals are not allowed to have flamethrowers. No! Okay, hold on. Ah! <laughs> so, La Coalition is uh, pointing out that the music in this level is dope. Um, I agree, the soundtrack in this game is great. The main menu music was pretty phenomenal. Okay, wait a second, though. First. I'd like to get some heals. And then second. There. Okay. Okay. Ow! Shouldn't have been so ambitious. I should have stopped. Oh, man. Okay, everybody. Oh, okay. I thought I could hide there. Never mind. Did I just kill all of them? Whoa, okay, that was... Um... <laughs> All right. Let's jump onto this, and then that, and then... I like that they came up with sort of a different tactile feel to a lot of the different ways you use the drill. Like, because, you know, you can dig through the sand and get gems, but they also have those gems in the wall. And it, no. And it feels, it feels good to grab those wall gems and it feels different to get those wall gems then it feels uh, to get grab the normal stuff. Okay. So we're going to need to... Let's see. I think I can just... Okay, so we're going to... 
Are we going to have to get this elevator above that blocker? Yeah, I think we are. Okay, so it's... No, dang it. Okay, it's above the blocker now. So now we can raise it higher. Okay, that was... That was rough. Okay, so now we've got... Is there a reason to flip that? So far, not a great one. Oh! I see. And also, what? Why does he have a parachute? <laughs> like, <laughs> no beetles were harmed during the making of this game. Oh! Okay, that wasn't what I meant to do. Um, yeah, there's probably a good way to do that. That I, <laughs> It's not what I did. Anyway, um, Lakota Soon is pointing out that the um, the SEO of this game isn't going to be great because there's so many videos out there of people just using pepper grinders. Probably actually a bunch of ASMR videos of people using pepper grinders. Ow, okay, how about you don't just go straight into the mine, dummy? I have one health left. But I'm going to get a pirate coin. I'm missing one pirate coin. Whatever, we did it. Okay, so I think there's more to this demo, but, oh no, there's not. Great, perfect, because I was about to say, I think half an hour is about the right amount of time to explore this game, see what it is. Go wishlist it on Steam. I'll put a link in the doobly-doo. And, uh, you know, this, I mean, this was a lot of fun to play and I could see enjoying taking it much further. But I think, I think we owe this game some headbang. I can't hear the soundtrack anymore <laughs> because I had to take my headphones off to do that. Um, so hopefully it wasn't completely off rhythm. Um, but <laughs> there you go. Uh, let's wrap this up with a subscribe button and links to other demos, probably, other Next Fest demos. And we'll get out of here. <laughs>